Sister Kate, you have to be more prayerful. The Bible made us to understand that the prayer of the righteous one availed much. Your father, I know, will soon be back on his feet. Thank you very much, Father, for coming to share prayers with me and my family. You see, every time you pray for my father, I always have this hope rising in me that all will be well again. You know, I believe, God, that very soon my father will get back on his feet. Yes, I know that. But you have to lead him to Christ as I instructed. I'll try my best, Father. I will. Good. May the Lord be with you. Thank you. Thank you. I see my girlfriend or oh, her name is Ifi. She came to see me. Oh, Ifi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. I'll soon be back. Eh, uh, okay. Uh, make sure you come back quick. <laughs> this one you called her sister Kate. Is she planning to do now? Huh? You see that lady that just greeted us now? No? She's nothing but a naked girl. <laughs> In fact, eh, I don't think that there is any reverend sister in this whole world that can compete with that girl in terms of holiness and spiritual maturity. Eh? I hey, know. Her name is even Kate. But her lifestyle made the entire village fond of calling her Sister Kate. She can even give her life as long as she doesn't compromise her Christian faith. Everybody knows her in this village now, even the Igwe. No, huh. wow. I envy her a lot. Eh. Are you serious? Honestly, I do. My dear. <laughs> He's not getting any better. Mama, where is your faith? Of course he's getting better. Okay, Sister Faith. He's very strong. In fact, he can walk. He forgot you. Papa, how are you? Ooh. Hey. Hey. Have you called him? Call who? The Dibia from Mwakbara. <clears throat> Papa, there's no Dibia. There's no calling of any Dibia. That is idolatry. Oh, Papa, God. please. All you need to do is just put your faith in the one true God. Uh, go and call him for me. I know what I'm talking about. Papa, you do not know what you're talking about and I am not calling any Dibia. I want you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and you will be fine. Please, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus. Go and call him for me. Yo. Ah. Papa, please just say the prayer after me. Lord Jesus. I want to see him. Chineke. Daughter of Zion. Papa. I saw you praying at the altar when I was going out. This is almost 8 o'clock in the night. Why don't you go home and continue your prayers at home? By the way, what is troubling your heart? Father, it's... I, I came to, to pour my heart to God. It's about my father's sickness. Father, he's not getting any better. And the worst of it is that he has refused to accept Christ. 
he keeps calling on his deity. So I came to talk to the good Lord to ask him to change his heart. Because I know that if he accepts Jesus Christ as his savior, I know that the good Lord will help him. It's okay. You just go home. Tomorrow, I will come and pray with you for him. Thank you very much, Father. Good. Yes. My eyes will not behold evil. Okay, what is the meaning of this? Father, I am sorry. I am sorry. I, 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 I never knew that my mother had gone ahead to get a divya after all the warnings that I gave to her. Father, please forgive me. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. Sister Kate, you have to be more prayerful. You have to be fervent in your prayers. You live in a war zone. All you need is prayers. upon your so-called God morning, day and night. Why has he not healed your father? Why? With all the prayers and fasting you have been doing for your father, why has your father not been healed? Mama, for Christ's sake, the first problem is the fact that he doesn't believe the gospel. I have done everything to make him accept Christ, but no, he wouldn't. Okay, fine. Now that you've gone to bring that demon into this house, is Papa healed? At least the cause of his problem has been traced. What cause? Ay, depends. Udochi. Udochi. Have you told her? Have you told my daughter? Why? I don't even know how to start telling her such a thing. A girl who doesn't want to hear anything about tradition or idol worship. I don't know how to put it to her. I see. Sorry. In other words, you want me to remain in this condition and die in it? God forbid. How could you say such a thing? Yeah. You don't seem to be doing anything about this. Even when the cause of this problem has been found and 
The solution is in her hands. Manny, it's not all about me now. It's all about your daughter. Oh, bro, I'm like I'm uh -huh. What is it? What is that thing that uh, you want to tell me? I want to hear it. Say it to me. It's about the findings from the great Debia <laughs> over the course of your father's strange emails. <laughs> okay. So what was this findings? When we gave birth to you, we dedicated you to Amaliko's date. And your father promised the date that you will come and do the work when you come of age. But unfortunately, you joined Christianity at a very tender age. Mm. Oh yeah, we feel enough here. So, what is this Iwa Ogodo? It's a ceremony where a father of a grown-up girl comes to show appreciation to Amaliko's deity for guiding and protecting the daughter from childhood to adulthood. Mm. A cow and goat is killed for appreciation. The father invites friends and well-wishers to come and celebrate with him. The girl in question dances all round and the people appreciate her. <laughs> it's true, my daughter. Can you feel that a lot? Why are you laughing? I can't feel it. I know. Why are you laughing? I know, man. I know. I know. This is why I don't want to tell you. Because I know you will not find me. Mm. Can't stop laughing? Happy hey. forget. So I'm laughing, man. Hi. Hi. Mm. Catherine, woman. My daughter. Please. Hi. Please, my daughter. The gods are angry with me. They are angry with me for not fulfilling that promise. If you love me, my daughter, I will still want to be alive. Please, do it for me. Je God. So I can live. Oh. So if somebody tells you, in this, in this whole wide world, that I, Kate, your daughter, I would ever, ever, ever have anything to do with any idol worship. Papa, will you believe that person? Hi. My daughter, my own daughter. It is a matter of life and death now. My life. My life is now in your hands. It's a lie. That is the lie of the devil. It is the lie from the pit of hell. Your life is not in my hands. Neither is it in the hands of any stupid deity. Your life is in the hands of Jesus Christ who created heaven and earth. So Papa, the earlier you begin to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, the better for you. Because I, Kate, your daughter, I will never be cajoled or tricked or deceived into serving Satan. I will never ever fall for Satan so cheaply as to worshipping any sort of idol, Papa. I will not. Kate, mom. Your father has never believed in the white man's religion. He has always believed in his own traditional religion. And it has been working out for him. Do you want your father to die? Did your gun again walk it? Eh? Please, I beg you. Do this Iwa Godo rituals so that your father can live. Get Biko, I beg you. After that, you can go back to your belief. Because we all know that your father is not ready to turn from his own belief. Mama, Mama, please, please, please. Let's not deceive anyone here. Let's not deceive ourselves. I pray for my father morning, afternoon, and night. And I believe the God that I pray to. I will never worship Satan for any reason. Even if it's going to take my blood, I will be glad to give it. I'm sorry, but no. I'm sorry, my own daughter. Hi. Hey. The people should get ready for my prayer then. 
To criticize or judge you. I'm just saying that as a child of God, the way you dress, it, it doesn't depict a girl who, who comes from a responsible home, from a Christian home for that matter. How am I dressed? Don't you like it? Linda, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, you I don't understand this is your born against stuff. Each time, the way you're dressed, the way you're dressed, don't you like it? Listen, let me tell you what this is. The Bible says that our bodies are the temple of God. So you have to you have to guide your body. You have to be able to protect it and dress in a manner that will depict a good girl from a good home and not like your Anyways, what I'm trying to say is this. Just come to town and see what girls are doing. And you're just in this village wasting your time all in the name of born again. My sister, this is what I'm trying to make you understand. You cannot do what every other girl because everybody's doing it, you want to do it as well. The Bible also makes us understand that what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Am I not a Christian? Don't I go to church? The way you're going about it, please, my sister, please, I'm... please, 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 it's okay. You have my address. When you're ready, come to my place. I'm off. I don't listen. I'm, I'm because because I came to your house please. to tell you to come to town and be like others. You hear preaching, Linda. Please. I'm, I'm just worried about your, you. You are. You need to give your life to God, Linda. Your face like this. Is Papa not improving? He's not. Go in there and see him. How are you? Who is that? It's me, your son. Oh. Uh, Akena? Yes, Papa. How are you? Uh, uh, you have seen me. Sorry, uh, sorry Papa. Mm. Papa. Papa, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Mm. It's okay, Papa. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, your sister. Wants me to die this early. My sister. If you allow your sister to accomplish what she has in mind now, and I finally die. Oh, I mean, my soul will not rest in peace. I will not forgive you or your sister either. What are you talking about, Papa? Hey, Papa, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Papa. Uh, Papa so sorry, sorry, Papa. Uh, 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 easy, easy. Sorry, Papa. Go. Go and see your sister. My sister. What is Papa talking about my sister Kate? Your father's life is in the hands of your sister Kate Rain. But she is too adamant about it. 
What are you talking about, Mama? Hmm? Your father insisted we bring in the Dibia, hmm? who consulted the spirit and said that the gods are the ones who struck your father down of that ailment. What? Oh, yes. Your father made a promise to the deity years ago, which he did not fulfill. Oh, yeah, we finished me, Eva. That is the problem. What promise? But Mama, what promise is that? And what does he have to do with my sister Kate? When I give birth to your sister, your father dedicated your sister to Amaliko's death, promising the gods that if they guide and protect her until she comes of age, that she will come and fulfill the Imuagodo rituals. The rapid growth of Christianity makes it appear that Amaliko's deity is no longer effective. But the truth is that the gods are still in existence. They are still as powerful as ever. So, the problem now is that my sister Kate has refused to do the Immor God of ritual. And the gods can never go back to their words until she does it. But work with me. But there's no problem. My sister Kate must have to do it in order to save Papa's life. <laughs> hmm? Is that what you think? Oh, do you think otherwise, Mama? Hmm. Hey! <gasps> Kenny, I am so disappointed in you. For Christ's sake, with all the campaign going on all over the world to shun idolatry and its practices and embrace the true God. You, after going through secondary school, after living in the city for over eight years, you are still trying to encourage your parents to practice idolatry. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Is it not what is written in your Bible? He does not believe in your own religion. His life is stuck to his own belief. You have to do it to save him. The only true salvation comes from Jesus Christ and no one else. But he does not want to see it from your own point of view. But we have to make him see it that way. That is the reason he sent us to school. Kate, uh -huh. why are you unnecessarily adamant? Huh? What is it going to cost you if you do it? By the way, who is even asking you to put away your religion? All he wants you to do is just to perform the Immor got the ritual, then after you can still go back to whatever you believe in. Oh, please just stop. Christ, this is the most ridiculously foolish thing I've ever heard. Ah, so you want Papa to die, eh? I don't want him to die. I want him to leave, and that's why I brought him the gospel. If anything should happen to Papa, if anything happens to Papa, nothing will happen to Papa. Tell your daughter to stop this her holier than thou attitude and do the immoral god of ritual. Because if anything should happen to Papa, eh, this house will not going to contain both of us. Hey, Kene. Mama. Come and go back to the city. Go and face your business. Wrap here. But Mama, why would she be an instrument in the hands of devil? I don't know. Is she the only one that goes to church? The Reverend Father and the Catechist, they all go to church. But still, they don't ignore completely some of the traditions like this. Mama, tell me, what is the essence of religion when a man's life is at stake? Dear, dear Kijebe, come and start going. Go and face your business. No problem, Mama. I'm going. But one how? Tell her to go and do it too. Because if anything happens to Papa, Mama, if anything happens to Papa, hey, Kate will see my true color. She will see my true color. Come, I'm going. Papa. Hey, Joma. It's your case. It's it's a very complicated one. Mm -hmm. It is. I know. And I also know that I will get out of it. 
I know that it will be nothing but glory to the name of God. True. But Sister Kate, I'm just thinking, since your father does not want to accept the gospel, don't you think that maybe he should just partake in that sacrifice just to save his life? Holy Mary, Mother of God. Jesus Christ. Sister Mary. How can you even... How can you even begin to think of something like that? What can one ever give in exchange of a soul? For Christ's sake, the Bible makes us to understand that we should not be afraid of that that can destroy just the body. But we should be afraid of that which can destroy both body and soul. True. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I almost went astray. Just thank God for your kind of perseverance. <laughs> Sister Mary, honestly, the, the only thing that I need from you right now, as a friend and as a colleague, is for you to help me carry this cross by being there for me in prayers at all times. I will, I promise. I will. That's what friends and sisters are for. I will. What kind of dream would scare you like this? Oh, stuck it. You and I were, were in a dreaded forest. It was really dark. The only source of light we had was the lantern in your hands. The wind was so much. We tried, we both tried to protect it, but it went off and left us in the dark. This must be a message from the Lord. You know what we will do? We will not leave here tomorrow morning. We will wait for the parish priest to come to the office first. And then we will go and see him before we leave. I'm sure that he will have some kind of interpretation or explanation to give to us. Hmm? Oh, Sister Kate, I was so scared. I was afraid. I know. It's only a dream. Let's go back to bed. Oh. You don't have to be afraid, you're in the house of God. Lie down, let's go back to sleep. Okay. Okay? Okay. The light is the truth. The word of God, which you have accepted and held on to. The wind, 
are pressures that will come from every side to take away the faith. The dream signifies that the Lord, the good Lord, is warning you of future occurrences. Great trials will come, pressures will be mounted on you from every side, even from people very close to you. But you have to stand your ground. And the good Lord will see you through. Well, Father, you're correct. Because take for instance my father's sickness. You know, my people are trying to lure me into idol worshipping because according to them they claim that that's the only remedy for my father's sickness. Don't listen to them. Hold on strongly to your faith. The good Lord will see you through. Amen. Thank you, Father. We're grateful, Father. God bless. Thank you.
This youthful exuberance is not what is required of you right now. As it stands, you are the man of the house right now. You are supposed to learn how to control situations. I want to kill her. You push allow me to kill her. Shut up. Make sure you want to kill her. You want to kill her? Kill her. Your father was a traditionalist. So his remains will not be left to see the breaking of another day. What we should be thinking of now is how to bury him. And then plan his subsequent burial rites. Yes! How do you bury him? Not to run in the entire village round like a newly madman. <laughs> okay, my elders. Now you pull out here. How do we bury him? Mm. Now you talk like a man. First of all, send west to your father's maternal home. They must have heard about it by now. Let them send you four able bodied men who will dig the grave before your father will be lowered to the mother earth. Then you send for the great Dibia who will come to perform the purification rite of your father. Then the Omada will come to shave your mother's and your sister's hair after which your father's remains will be lowered to the mother earth. What can you from here? And um, later in the night, we will tell you the things needed for his burial rites. And also fix a convenient date for the burial ceremony as well. I've had you, my elders. I've had you. Thank you so much. And though I, I, will, I will send a message to my father's maternal home. Please do. Yeah. Do. Hmm? Oh no 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 Yes, Ozu, and I mean me. The gods are spread. The gods are wise and infinite. I follow the police if you know of ya. Of one of my guests, we can now go to Lajo. As no matter what is your blue. Oh, yes, I can't Hmm? Look at me now. I Wise one. Bury the dead. Thank you, wise one. Thank you. Thank you.
We have been looking for you. Please come and shave your hair. I am not shaving my hair for anyone. Uh, so you don't want them to bury your father? I'm not stopping anyone from burying my father. I'm only just saying that my hair will not go down with him. You better follow me now before your brother gets you here. Let him get me now. Eh? Let him get me. For Christ's sake, it's against my faith. And no one will force me to go contrary to what I believe in. Ah, if you want to shave your hairs, go ahead and shave your hairs. I don't want to shave mine. Period. So what do you do? You didn't say anything. Then why are you waiting for you there? Will you come and shave your hair for me immediately? Give me, I didn't say anything. Leave me alone. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, come and shave up. Come on. 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 Since they buried him, you can you can now go back to your house. Hmm? Ha! You won't take any to kill me. No. No, I will not step my foot into that house until he has gone back to the city. <laughs> but it is your house too, stack it. Come on, <laughs> don't we are Christians. We still need to use our, our common sense. Your father is dead, he's been buried. You have to go back to the house. I mean, I'm sure your present day really matters. Yeah, but not when my brother has been possessed by an evil spirit and wants to suck my blood. What will he do? What will he do? They've buried your father. Why will he want to hurt you? <laughs> you don't know that boy, you. You don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're just being unnecessarily afraid. You're just being scared. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, um... Sister Mimi. Is, is your mother complaining about my staying here? No. Then please, I beg of you, let me just, let me stay here for some time. Please. supposed to die. Papa is not, it's not supposed to die. It's alright. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good one. Mm? You're welcome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, you come well. Uh, it's alright, my son. I have heard all you said. Uh, but I need to talk to my daughter. To know her own feeling about this proposal. Hmm? Yeah. Because she is the one you are going to marry, and not me. You are right. You're huh? right Am I right? Yeah. Oh, well? Yeah. Mm. However, uh, I think it would be nice for me to call her. To at least come and say welcome to, to you. Good. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? This man here has come to seek your hand in marriage. <clears throat> His name is Emeka. I want you to officially meet with him today. And uh, maybe make our time to know each other very well. Then discuss issues. Then come back with a report as to whether you will marry him or not. Well, well. That's good. You see, Papa, mm -hmm. you have done your part. So please let me continue from here. Mm -hmm. 
You see, Kate, I have heard so much about you. How cold you are, how industrious and God fearing you are. You see, there's the qualities I really need in a woman. And I made up my mind to make you my forever. I've heard you. I'll have to pray about it. Okay, no problem. But how about paying me visit this weekend in Enugu? Coming to your house? Yes. What for? So we can know each other very well. As for a woman I want to marry now. So I can know you in and out. Know how good you are in bed. Uh, so you can understand and know if I'm man enough for you. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Ah uh ah. -uh. What have I said wrong now? You have said everything wrong. Having sex with a man I'm not married to is fornication and I will never indulge in it. And you are... What I am saying is that I will never have anything sexually to do with you until you've taken me to the altar. Hey! Can someone have a sample test of the commodity he wants to buy? And I'm not a piece of commodity. I am a daughter of Zion. Excuse me. Daughter of Zion, excuse me. Hey! Aka kwara aka. Katri, my daughter. Your mother and I, we want to know your final decision on that marriage proposal. <laughs> Papa, that marriage will not work. It's a guinea. I said it won't work. Why? Huh? Papa, Emeka is not my kind of person. He's a very different person from me. He doesn't believe in what I believe in. He's an unbeliever. What do you mean he's an unbeliever? Is he not a Catholic? Is your own church different? Who can tell God you Mama, yes, true, he's, he attends Catholic as well with me, but that's not the point. The point is that he's an unbeliever. I need a man who believes in the same things that I believe in, who shares the same faith with me. Emeka is an unbeliever. Hey! Uh, my daughter, the truth is that that young man eh, is from a very worthy family. Eh? Or can't you see the whole thing as a divine arrangement? Maybe God wants to uh, transfer us from this poverty to prosperity. Or do you mean to tell me that you are comfortable with this uh, present condition? Eh? I know that God will not allow us to remain in this condition forever. And I also know that God is preparing the kind of man that he wants me to marry for me. Yes. Know again also that a bed at hand is worth more than ten in the bush, my daughter. You better go and get married and leave this house for us. Me began, let's go deep. Julia one. I want them. Be quick and equal. Small one no can do his name. Oh God. Small one can do his name. Oh God. Small one can do his name. Oh God. Small one can do what is going on here? Go leave Mary, mother of God. Catherine. Papa, what is this? Please leave us. We are sacrificing to the gods of the land. There is only one God. Every other God is fake, man made, and powerless and cannot save anyone. Tell your daughter to leave this place now, else the wrath of Omaliko will descend on her. No, please, please. Catherine, please leave us. Which Omaliko? Huh? Which Omaliko? I challenge that Omaliko of yours. If it has any powers, let him show itself and see if my God will not strike you dead now. Hi. You're still crying, sister kids. Come on, please. Don't be doing this now. Don't do this. Papa should have died. I know that. Should have died. I 
No, come on. Please. But why? Don't do this. Why did he die? I don't know. Why did he die? Fine. You'll be fine. Please stop. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> why did he die? Why? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Kenne, please, I beg you. I beg you, please forgive her now. I beg you in the name of God. You better take her back to wherever you brought her from. She's not stepping a foot into this house anymore. <laughs> but she's still your sister. For where? Lies! She lost the right as a daughter in this family when she allowed her father to be buried with her hair on her head. She's no longer part of this family. Let her get out. Okay. Where will she go to? Where? She can go to anywhere. I don't care. I don't care. Kenny, please. Kenny, I'm still your flesh and blood. Eh? What do you say? Eh? Please! What do you say? Get out! Get out! If I ever see you here again, then let her go. No, no. Get away! I'm a man. That is the cross you have to bear for your faith. The Bible tells us in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2, that we should count it all as joy when we fall into diverse temptations. Verse 3 goes on to tell us that knowing this, that the trying of our faith worketh patience. And Christ told us in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 10, that blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So rejoice and be exceedingly glad because great is your reward in heaven. But Father, what do you advise that we do about her accommodation? Well, if they say she should no longer come to the house, I advise you take her home. Let her stay with you. This is a time for you to show her that you are a sister in Christ. Since the family has rejected her. Are you going to reject her also? No, God forbid. So cheer up sister Kate. Everything will turn out. So Kate, so when will your brother can I, when will he return back to the city? I don't know for him more. Mm, okay. I just pray that you know he, he goes back soon so that he can actually go back to the house, you know, to your house. Um, you don't want me in your house? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, 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 it's not me. You know, my mother. She doesn't want me. I just, I just don't know how she, she will take it. It's okay. <laughs> Mary, where are you taking her to? I thought she would be going back to the house after their father's burial. Haven't they buried him? <laughs> Mama, they buried him, but... He's... But what? But what, Mary? <laughs> Mama, her brother will not let her into their house. So... So, it's me, named Mary, who is good to accommodate the person that is rejected out of their house. So my house is now a refugee camp of where? Oh, Mama, Mama, but you know she's my friend. It's okay, I'll go. Where are you going to go to? Don't, don't worry, I'll be fine. Stuck it. Mama. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, boy, you're going to knock her. Come, Ma shut up. Oh, no, I'm going to be an ass. I'm going to be an ass.
turns to thee Jesus Lord Thy hands for mercy Let me not Reply in vain All my sins are Going back to the city to raise some money for Papa's burial ceremony. Hmm? You know, it's going to take a huge amount of money because he's a titled man. I know. God will be with you. Thank you so much, Mama. Um, um, Mama, lest I forget, if I go out, I wouldn't like Kate to come back to this house. If Kate comes back to this house, I am going to kill her and I will not be happy with you, Mama. I have heard you. Mom, I'm very serious, so. I am very, very serious, so. I'm not gonna know me, Fiku. I'm not gonna know. Let me know the reason she tends to have a final say in this house. I want to know the two of us who owns this house. I'll see you later, Mama. After you, he's gone. He's Who? gone. And your brother is gone. I mean, I saw him going to the park with his back on a bike. Ah, are you serious? <laughs> serious? Hey, thank yes. God. Finally, finally, come and go. We stand for you to go. Come and go. Hey, let me just finish what I'm doing. Hey, okay. Um, let me get my own racket. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, let's decide to go without breaking my head. <laughs> hey, may God protect him. Oh. Hmm. Jemba, welcome. Mama, please, uh, I'm sorry for all the pains that I, I caused you and everybody else. Uh, I did not mean to hurt you. I was only trying to protect my faith in the only true God. I, I, I didn't mean to cause you pains. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. You better reserve those apologies for your brother. I don't need them. I will call him and, and apologize to him. You better go and call him because he warned me not to allow you to enter this house. I will go and call him. Better. Mama, thank you for accepting. Stop, uh, stop thanking me and go and call him first, Biko. You're going. Um, I'm going to the parish. We have vigil. Are you telling me that you cannot be of any help to your mother? Is it a 
every day you people have activities in that church. Mama, this one is not a uh, mass. It's just a prayer session my friends and I organized. It's actually for one of us whose brother is ill. So what happened to the melon seed I asked you to peel? That I'm taking it to Nkwam Market first thing tomorrow morning. Mama, don't worry. I'll peel it once I come back. My friend, go and drop that Bible. You peel it when you come back. When are you coming back? You are not going anywhere. If you know you still want to live and eat in this house, you better go and drop your Bible and peel those melon seed. Kate, Catherine, don't remind me of what I let go for your sake. Catherine, not particularly me. Don't dare me. Mama, please let me just go. My friends are already waiting for me. This is important. Let them pray alone. Are you Angel Gabriel, the answer provider? Are you? You better go and drop that Bible and do what I ask you to do. Taking too long, bro. Why is sister Kate taking so long? Are you, are you sure she's still even going to come? I mean, look at the time now. It's late. She will. She'll come. Uh, sister Kate can't miss this vigil for anything. I know that. Okay, why is she not here? I don't know. Maybe, you know, all her normal family issues, all her family problems or something. But I know that she's definitely coming. She can't miss it. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Maybe we should just start and when she comes, she will join us. No, 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 let's wait. I, I'm sure she's very close by now. She, she, she should be close. Okay. left this melon and sneaked out. She will come back and meet me in this house. Oh, just see her. I'm so bad. I'm not going to get a boom. Okay. 
I think we should go and find out why Sister Kate couldn't make the video. Mary, is it necessary? Of course, it is. It's so unlike her. I remember that she was the one that actually organized the praying group for your sick brother. Yeah, that's true. What are you implying? I just, I just know something is wrong. She just cannot miss that vigil. She can't. I really think we should go to her house and find out why she didn't come. Yeah, you have a point. Okay, let's go. How can someone be thinking of church, church, church all the time? She doesn't even think of helping me. I ask my daughter to peel melon for me. That I'm going to Mkwa Market this morning with this melon. She pretended to have heard me. Not knowing that she was waiting for me to go to bed so that she can carry out her own wish. Your stubbornness has cost you your pride and virginity. Mama, Mama talking to her, she is just going to cause her more pain. <laughs> this is time, you know, that she needs your comfort and not your rebuke. I will cause her more pain. I will even cause you heartbreak. Next time, if I give you instruction, you will carry out my instruction. No more, Muge. In a coca, I will go with an old driver. Mister Kids. I know that the Lord will expose and punish those bandits. I know that for a fact. Sister Kate, do you mean you saw those boys and none of them is from this village? Then who could they be? I suspect those boys from Akugu. Those boys that lay ambush on women coming from Onicha to buy farm produce. <laughs> I'm sure they are the one behind this. Well, for them to have touched and defied the daughter of our mother Mary, they would never go unpunished. Never. <laughs> The more I try to live a righteous life, the more I try to hold on to my faith in spite of all odds, the more I am being paid back with evil things. Why, why, why is my own defect? Truly, God will not allow temptations bigger than us to come to us. The truth is, you have a great destiny ahead of you. You are a special child. That is why all these things are happening to you. They help build you into the kind of woman that God wants you to be. A woman who keeps her virginity for so long, only to lose it to some, some useless, devilish criminals. Is that the kind of woman that God wants me to be? Is, is that the kind of woman that, that he is molding me to be? The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28 For we know that all things work out for good to them that love the Lord. And by all things, Sister Kate, the Bible means all things. So I strongly believe that this series of events are working for your good. They help paint the picture of the woman that God wants you to be. Kate, hmm? yeah, come here. Yeah. 
Are you sure you're not sick? I am. I've been having this morning sickness for some time now. I don't know. When last did you see your period? Mama! Uh -uh. Don't mama me. Answer me. Well, you know how the thing is. Sometimes it will come. Some months will disappear for some time and then come back whenever it likes. But I haven't seen it yet anyway. Hmm. Catherine, you are pregnant. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Lord of Jesus. Mama! Mama, how would you even begin to imagine something like this? Me, Kate. Your own daughter. How do you ever imagine that I would indulge in such immorality? Shut up, Mitchell. Are you a saint? Oh, Saint Kate. I am telling you from experience that you're pregnant. New dime in a rubbish. Mama, please, Mama, please. If, if, if this is a joke, I do not like it. I don't. Please stop it. Mm. Okay. I will take you to the village hospital for a pregnancy test. Huh. Like one of my own. Okay, fine, Mama. I will follow you to that hospital. But if after the test and the result comes out and is negative, what am I going to do to you? And what if the result comes out and is positive? What am I going to do to you? Uh, you'll do anything you like to me. Because I'm very sure. Uh, Mama, come on. I, mean, I don't understand you sometimes. Hey! Get to the Get to the dinner. Mama. Your result is out. Doctor, tell us, is it positive or negative? Can I come along? Well, I'm afraid the result is positive. She's six weeks pregnant. Your chances of taking in that tonight are 50 50. Hey, if you are in your ovulation period, it makes no difference that you were having it for the first time. You will get uh, pregnant as well. <laughs> Why me? Why me? Why me? What have I done wrong? But that's the truth. If you're going. If you're going to kiss CJ. I could. I'm finished. If you go, oh God! If you go in here, Katano Noka. Sorry. Church, church. Nine BJ, nine BJ. What's that, Yella? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! There is nothing like church in this one. You're going to remove that thing in your stomach. You cannot not start. Bastard, here with me. It's not possible. Mama. Mama, how can you be advising me to go for an abortion? When you know that God hates shedding of innocent blood. Which God? The same reason you allow your father to die. God will save him. God will heal him. The man died right before us. The same reason God, God. You go to vigil here. Go to vigil there. Every day, touch, touch, touch. They raped you and impregnated you. You will not. You will not have that bastard here over my dead body. Mama, please. Just stop this. Mama, you're pushing me to the wall. Just stop this. Please. Now, wait. What are you begging me for? That I should allow you, not that bastard, from arm brothers. I think I say that one will not happen over my dead body. It's either you terminate the pregnancy. Or you leave my house. 
Ecoutez, vous pouvez encore. Non, non. God, why? Why? Why are all these things happening to me? God, why? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done wrong? Oh, have mercy on me, God, please. Father, Father, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm thinking of yielding to my mother's demands. Sister Kate, have you forgotten the commandments of God? Have you forgotten that the fifth commandment says, Thou shalt not kill? I will never advise you to go for an abortion. Sin is sin no matter what. There is no justification for sin. Brother, my mother will kill me. She will kill me. She says that the house will not contain both of us. She says the child has a bad blood. Born out of rape. Born out of crime. Father, please. Help me out on this one, please, Father. Look, I am not God. I am only a servant of God. My duty here is to tell you the mind of God in every situation. God will not be happy with you. What if that child that is going to be born out of rape, the one to save the family? What if he's going to be the light of the family? You know you would have destroyed destinies. Sister Kate, why give up now? You have endured this far, so why give up now? Remember what you suffered because of Christianity? You remember what you went through in your family? Don't forget that it is those who endured till the end that will be saved. <laughs> Seriously, your mother shouldn't be blamed. I mean, no woman would condone that. Her daughter was raped and was also impregnated by mere criminals. And it's also been expected to be supportive of the birth of the child. No woman would. Come to think of it, Sister Kit. God will understand. What I'm trying to say is that he will forgive you afterwards. I mean, you were actually going for a vigil that fateful night. Our God is too merciful to hold just this one tiny sin against you. You're doing this for the sake of peace and sanity now. Eh? You know, Father James warned me not to terminate this pregnancy. Who knows? I'm sure our God has a plan. He's going to do something positive out of this pregnancy for me. And your explanation to your mother would be? What if she's actually serious about sending you out of the house? Well, even if she does, I still can't go back. I've gone in too deep to turn back now. May the Lord strengthen you, Sister Kate. Amen. Let's start going. I told the woman that we are coming this morning. Oh, uh, where are we going? What do you mean, where are we going to? So, all the things I told you last night about the midwife I narrated your story to, and she volunteered to help us terminate your pregnancy. You mean all those things we are falling on deaf ears? Mama, I'm sorry. I I will not go anywhere with you. It's a guinea. No, what did you just say? Can you go? It's not a guinea. You're not going anywhere. After case say no. You mean you will stay in this house and not start bastard? Over my dead body. Oh yeah! Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. Mama, let me pick my feet. Leave them. I'll bring them for you. You will not stay here 
and lost that bastard. I got him in Ghana, man. Okay, for Just wait. to the church. I'm asking you, you can't even use your common sense. Common sense, you can't even use it. All the time, church, church, church. The worst part of it is that you keep going to church, yet all the disadvantage, missing it, wow. Yet, you can't advise yourself. Mom, do oh my God. Do oh my God. May God forgive you. Don't that baboogie. In kitana chakwa ganya. In any neku, let that same God forgive you for all the atrocities and the evil you have brought upon this home. How am I even sure? Maybe it's the reverend father that is responsible for your pregnancy. Go! Go to your reverend father! Go! Easy! Nkita Murangu! Animano! How am I even sure he's not the one responsible for your pregnancy? In Akoka! Kabuko Mwagi! Me! Oh, Hibu! Get the rain! He had a Kabuko Egg! In a demon! Let me see you there! After my Mwagi, I will tell you! No, Mumu, okay? I'll get back to you! Nere maka ni kagula ma Mother Mary bahamu me ni kagula ma My God, this is too much. I mean, this is just too much. Hmm. Honestly, I do not think that my grace can take me this far. Sister Kate, I bought this pregnancy. I bought it so that you can go back to your normal life. Even the good Lord, I know he will understand. He can understand. Honestly, I don't blame your mother. Sister Kate, I don't blame your mother at all. I mean, every normal woman in a reasonable sense who wants that baby aborted. True. Why? Why are you people telling me all this? Why? You're supposed to be... My friends, my colleagues, my sisters in the Lord. Why are you telling me all this? Times like this, what I expect from you people would be some sort of encouragement. Sister Kate, we are not discouraging you. No. We are your friends and we want the best for you. True. Okay, where are you going to stay now? Who will take care of you? Very soon your pregnancy will start showing and people will begin to talk. All these are what you should put into consideration before refusing an abortion. Well, I know that my Rutima liveth. If no one will accommodate me, I'll pack my things and go to the parish and live there. At least, I know that nobody will have to chase me away from there. I really, I really admire your faith. Your faith is really strong. I just pray that the good Lord will be with you. Yes, he will strengthen you, Sister Kit. Oh, you are telling me that you are the only friend she has in this village? Is Mary not a closer friend to her than you? Mama Mary's mother won't allow her stay. Please, Mama, she needs my help. Hey, and it is me who will allow her in. Take this girl out of here. Mama, Mama, please. Please, Mama. How do I, how do I tell her now that you don't want her here? How? Open your mouth. Open. Why it open? 
shout it into her ear. That is how to tell her. Mama, where, where will she now stay now? Where, where will she stay? I don't know. I don't know. Mama. Mama. She doesn't want me. Sakit, I'm so sorry. I really wish I could help. It's alright. Thank you very much for your help. Where are you going? Never mind. Let me go back and beg her again. I'm sure she could still change her mind. It's of no use. Even if she changes her mind, I already know I am not welcomed. But thank you so much for your help. Don't worry about me. Okay? I'll be fine. Thank you. Stop it. Save me. Don't let me fall. Temptation comes my way. Don't let me fall. I pray. Save me. Yes, I fall. Jesus, Jigidema. Nerema, Kaika, Wulamo. No, my Mary, Nerema. Okay, Your Eminence. I will, I will do it that way. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What is the problem, Sister Kate? Father, it's my mother. She sent me out of the house. She said until I abort the baby that I should not come back to the house. And she wouldn't live in the same house with me and the pregnancy. Oh my God. How could she say a thing like that to her own daughter? I don't know. Okay. Alright. Just wait for me outside, okay? Okay. To this house, Father Romala. Madam, this girl is still your daughter, no matter what. Dinimedia, don't expose her to danger. She needs your motherly love now more than ever before. Eh, since I have refused to show her my motherly love, why don't you show her your fatherly love? After all, you've been the one deceiving my daughter all this while. Oh, yes, you. You told her not to save her father from death. Because of your practicing useless religion. Hmm? Now you want her to nurture and give birth to a pregnancy she got from arm robbers. Father Romala! Mama, for Christ's sake, it's an ordained priest of God you're talking to in that manner. If I hear pain from you, my feet are gone. May God have mercy on your soul. And have mercy on your own soul too. You can keep her in your house for all I care. After all, we don't even know who is the real father of the baby. Please take me to the parish. No. That place is not safe for you, considering your condition. Father, don't worry. The good Lord will protect me. Take me there. If I, as your parish priest, 
cannot provide shelter over your head in this condition. Then I have failed in my duties. I came into your house at this time so that I can see two of you because what I have to discuss with you requires the consent of both of you. Father, whatever it is, you already have it. Just, just mention it. Father, feel free to say whatever it is. You know we can do anything for you. Once it's something that is within our reach. You know this sister at the parish, don't you? Hi. Who doesn't know Sister Kate in our parish? Father, she's a girl whose Christian conduct I respect a lot. In fact, I've always told my wife how I wish she could raise her daughters to be like her. I am happy to hear that. You see, she needs our help now as her Christian brethren. Her mother sent her out of the house because she could not condescend so low as to indulge in the kind of crime she was pushing her into. Chai, ne, sorry, oh. Thank you very much, ma. She was going for a vigil, but was attacked and raped in the process. Jesus Christ. Raped. Holy Mary. It was later discovered that she took in that same night. Her mother wanted her to go in for abortion, but she insisted she wasn't going to uh, indulge in such an act. Her mother sent her packing. Hey. Do -o. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. She needs a roof over her head now. That is why I brought her. Father, you need not say any further. She already has a home. She's welcome here. Father, this house is big enough to contain anyone. She's welcome. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. God will continue to bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. I am happy to hear this from you. Thank you so much.
girl is such a relief to me. She's a nice and a hard-working girl. I didn't expect anything less. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not. God just blessed us with her in the disguise of hindering a herb. <laughs> of course. And you can say that again. <laughs> yes, sir. I did not see you. What are you doing here? Okay, uh, I came to check whether it is 3 uh, o'clock yet for the prayers, but it's not 3 o'clock yet. 10 minutes more. No, come, let's go inside. Yes, yes, yeah, I'm back. Uh, Le, please come. We need to talk. Yeah. I hope there's no problem. There's problem, or there's big problem. What is it? You. You are the problem. Me? Yes. Chineke, what have I done? See, Le, my whole body is on fire. I can't concentrate any longer. Come. Now that my wife is not back yet, let's go inside and do. Very, very fast. Yeah. Let's go inside and... 
and and do what? Uh, that thing I was begging you last night, that my wife almost caught us. Let's go and do it now. Blood of Jesus. Oh. Masi. Masi, I am so disappointed in you. For Christ's sake, amongst all the people in the parish, Father James decided to bring me to you and your wife out of the respect he has for both of you. Why would you behave like this? See, let me tell you, I have not done a thing like this before. I have always been faithful to my wife until you came. Okay, so why? why? Why do you want to change? You seduced me. You caused it. You set my whole body on fire. Me? Holy Mother of God. Mazi, I am just going to pretend that this never happened. But the next time you try anything in this direction, I promise you, I will report you to your wife. May God have mercy on you. My husband, what is it? Don't worry. How can you ask me not to worry? You know I've been restless ever since I came back and found you in this mood. Please tell me, what is it? Let me ask you, do you still like this, our union as man and wife? Or would you prefer I brought in a second wife? God forbid. Where is all this one coming from? Sister Kate has to leave this house. Why? What has she done? You know that girl is a very nice person. So I believe before now. Ignorantly though. So, are you saying she's not? Hmm. Let me tell you. She has to leave this house before she succeeds in her plans. What plans are you talking about? That girl has been constantly and deliberately trying to seduce me. Eh? Yes. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. Sister Kate cannot try such rubbish. Wait. Are you sure you're not telling the story from the other way around? So. You don't believe me, eh? It's not as if I don't believe you. You know, I've always believed everything you say ever since we got married. But, I'm sorry, you. I'm not too sure this time. <laughs> eh. It's alright. No problem. Good night. <laughs> Legs for which, which legs? No, I, until I was I was fast asleep. I, I didn't even realize that my, my legs were open. You didn't realize your legs were open, isn't it? So your mission in this house is to seduce my husband and destroy my marriage, isn't it? Hey, 
Auntie, how, why would you say something like that now? God forbid, I... In fact, next time I will tie my legs if I have to. It will never happen again, I promise you. It, it was a mistake. It won't happen again. That is if there is going to be a second chance for you. You know what? I'll go and see Reverend Father James. By tomorrow you'll be leaving my house. Because this, this nonsense cannot continue. Auntie, please. Auntie, it was a mistake. I, it was, I, 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 I didn't even know my legs were open. Auntie, you're, was, you're leaving my house tomorrow. Auntie, please now. Please. Auntie, follow me. I'll slap you. So where did you keep your bags now? I'm at the parish store. You know you cannot stay here. Father, why? Why were you trying to seduce another woman's husband? Jesus. Father, you believe I, I can do something like that? Didn't she catch you red-handed? Father, I was sleeping when she came in. How can a responsible girl be sleeping so carelessly as to expose her nakedness? How? Father, it's always been a problem. Even my mother has been complaining about it. It's, it's nothing that I do consciously. And you kept doing it until you nearly cost a woman who willingly volunteered to help you her marriage. Father, please, I am sorry. It would never happen again, please. So how do I help you now? take you to another family and cause yet another problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father.
Go put food for me. Manager like that. As I take tell him, now so she they put. What do? Nami o. Oh mu a o. Mama catch. Nami, Nami, so make I eat this food like this. I know now. Manager like that. Next time I go do you well. See, Mama catch. If you don't be sad, you're hungry. If Mama catch, I go change her for you. If you don't be sad. How are you, my children? Fine, Mary, I went to your place and your mother told me you were here. I hope there's no problem, ma. No, no problem. It's not actually a problem. I came to find out from you if you know where my daughter is. Please, tell her to come back home. I'm no longer pursuing her. Adima, choose here, please. Tell her to come back. No, ma, I'm sorry. I don't have any idea now. Last time I knew where she was was when she was with one of our parish members. But for now, I have no idea. No, what about you? Do you know where she's staying? Mama, I don't know. If I know, I would gladly take you to her. I don't know where she's staying. I hope you people are not lying to me. Please tell me where she's staying. Because see her at I'm not pushing her again. I don't want to speak with you also. We're not. That's the truth. Hey. Okay. That's a wonder. Thank you. They go make her find another person put back. Uh -uh. Madam, why now? Eh? Madam, but you know, say time never reach make I go now. Eh? I won't just stay here, make her also small money when I go feed, take care of this baby. But as your belly day, so if you do anything, ha! Madam, maybe me they do all the work since. I mean, they do everything now. Eh? I never slack since I come. Um, but people don't they talk. Say how I leave you. Carry belly, they work for me. They, they fetch water, they cook. Say no good now. Madam, I beg you. No I beg you. Make you leave all this is where people they talk. They are all not to talk. Uh, maybe me they do the work. And they complain. Uh, make they talk now. Madam, if you really want to help me. Now to agree, make I stay here. Before I go born, I go go just get enough money when I go take, take care of my baby. I beg. But what of your people? You know one go stay with them? <laughs> Madam, I beg. You know one stay with them? I don't tell you before. See, this is a long story and I don't want to talk about them. But may you forget that side. Okay now, when you finish what you are doing, go fetch water. Let's start the cooking. Thank you, Madam.
I know you will be a great man. A source of joy and happiness to many. I know that is why all these things are happening. They're happening just because they want you to terminate you. But just as the power of the grave could not hold Jesus captive, nothing would hold you captive until you come to wipe away my tears. My child of consolation. landed yourself. Hey, here she be. Uh, she's my mother. Uh, my mother is uh, my madam. Mama Nkechi. Your madam? Mama Nkechi? Who oh, is he? That is allowed a pregnant woman to be pushing for by you. You are a heartless and wicked woman. Hey, stop him! Stop him! No, can you come to abuse me? me. Not because I'm before. You will be her mama. Not be you leave her. She carry ballet the walk her everywhere. They find where she go stay. Eh? You get my call here and call the cost me. I'm not going to take that one. Now God, now go punish you. Make I'm not going to scatter you. Now God, go punish you. Mama, mama. Devil, go I'm not going to punish you. Mama, mama, pickle, no. Mama, mama, pickle, no. Stop now. Make I tell you. I don't want that one. So just come, call here and come to abuse me. Who will be? Madam, 
Madame, no vex, I beg, no vex. Madame, who's cut out? Cut out generation! Madame, see her! Madame, Madame, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Mama, please now, stop all this. Uh, she did not force me to work here. I choose to work in my condition. Uh, stop all this now. Where's your bag? My bag is inside. Oh, say so. Go inside and carry your bag. Let us go. Get her, get her. Go! Carry her, go! In her condition, you're allowing her to push Baru. You where be him, Mama? Eh? What do you do? What do you do? You're picking carry belly. You leave her. She is the car back. Go! Mama. Where is? What you, you are still thanking her? Thank you very much. Bye bye, dear. Bye bye, Thank you, thank you, madam. Oh, you are still thanking her? You can't hear. You go thank her. I take care of her. She go thank me. Nonsense. Bad woman. I begin to get better. She even had mouth to talk. The talk. Mother Mary. I saw that you only wear it today. Sister Kate? Yes. And you know what? She is fully pregnant. My sister, this was how we saw it though. Don't mind all those people trying to be earlier than thou. They are nothing but a bunch of pretenders. That's what they are. If you yeah, but there is a story, Sha. She was raped by some men of the underworld and she took in after the rape. <laughs> what kind of a story is that? She was raped for real. <laughs> My dear, even at that, how do you explain it? She took in that same day. <laughs> Forget those people. We all are the same when it comes to sexual matters. Nobody is a log of wood, my sister. Let thing. me not say what I'm not sure of. my family why would he die god knows the best and what is his reason for his death well i think it was better the way he died why do you say that you see from the tests we conducted the baby was hiv positive and um Oh, 
goes, what? So, are you saying that I, the mother, am also HIV positive? Well, that's what it means. But you see, there is still hope. You could still survive if... Uh, you know? Anything you're not telling me? Nothing, Mama. Then why have you been crying all day and all night? You're crying for a child you don't even know his father. A child with crime infected blood. Was that not an answered prayer? The child died so that you can be free to live your normal life. Mama. I will not understand. The only thing I have not understood is what you have not told me about this whole incident. That thing, that thing you're hiding from me, that is what I have not understood. A watching kete. Eh? So bad, Oh. to tell my mother that her only daughter is HIV positive. God, are you really existing? Or have I been deceived? What have I really gained from serving you faithfully all these years? I lost my father, lost my virginity, got thrown into the streets, lost my baby. Now I have lost my life. Truly, it has been a waste of time serving you in spirit and in truth. One thing I'm going to assure you is this. The little time I will have before I die, I shall enjoy myself to the fullest. And I shall never die alone. I will make sure I infect not less than 500 people before I die. We all shall die together. And if there truly is hellfire or heaven, we shall know when we cross over to the other side.
Madam Linda no day, and she not tell me the person they come here today. And please do me a favor, eh? Help me call her on phone and tell her that uh, uh, it's Kate from her village. I used to have her number on my phone, but I don't know what happened. I just couldn't find it anymore. But luckily for me, she, she gave me this number, this her, her house address, and said I could come anytime. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Kato. Catherine. Catherine. I don't believe you, Kate. What are you doing in this town? Yeah, question. Are you not the one that always harassed me every time you come to the village that I should come to the city? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now, I have accepted your invitation. Here I am. So I want the city to use me anyhow it likes. Are you no longer born again? Uh, please. That one is past tense. Like seriously, you're ready to join us in these games, you know? Hey. Like, what are you going to? Please, just take a look at me, eh? Hey. Hey. Am I not feminine enough to, to attract men? Of course you are. Eh? Hey. So the show starts tonight. Ha! What are we waiting for? Now you're talking. Ah, uh, let's go Kato. straight to business. Look at Kato. Hey, Jesus. Are you serious? This is a new Kate. Oh, new yes. Kate. Ah, I can't believe this. Come mm. on. Okay, let's go there. Mary! 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 Good morning. Good morning. Where is Kate? Um, she's not here. She's not here at all. Is, is there a problem? I woke up and I couldn't find her. I went to her room to search for her. I discovered she took some of her things and left without telling anyone. Where could she have gone to? If I knew, I wouldn't be here. Uh, mommy, did you, did you, you know, make problems, any kind of trouble with her? No, baby. Mancha. I only consoled her for the death of her child. That's all. I'm not going to Okay. This is strange. This is really strange. Okay. Let's go to bed. Ah, 
Sister Margaret, thank God, thank God I've seen you here. Because I was just coming to your place. My place? Mm. Hope all is well. All is well. It's just Sister Kate. Sister Kate. Hope everything is okay with her. You mean her mom hasn't been to your place this morning? No, she hasn't. Well, her mother came to my house this morning. She says she woke up and found out that Kate packed all her things, most of her things at least, and left the house without telling anyone. Jesus Christ. Did she say they have any problem? I asked her. She said no problem at all. This is very unlike Sister Kate. Hmm. I'm still shocked. Okay, anyway, I was going for an errand for my mother. I hope, I just hope they find her home. Okay, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you. trust me anymore she's not just wonderful in bed she'll make you calm and calm and calm you know what I'm talking about interesting you know the way you talk about this girl I I hope you're not being over exaggerated oh not to worry you will be the next person to give the testimony hmm? you're just talking don't you trust me anymore ah uh ah -uh, it's me your girl Where is she? Oh, she'll soon be here. Let me call her again. Hello, babe. Where are you? Kate? Kate, where are you? Okay, 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 good, good, good. Once you leave there, eh, go straight to Presidential Hotel, okay? Okay, okay. This guy is on my neck. Please. Don't ask questions now. What are babes waiting? Yes, I collected money from him. Okay, 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 no problem, no problem. Just rush, hurry, hurry, please. Okay, okay, good. I beg, I beg, I beg. Anyhow, just go there immediately. Huh? Okay, all right. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. All right. Kate left without a word to her friends and her prayer partners. Nobody knows her whereabouts. Honestly, this life is teaching me a lesson every single day. For instance, look at Sister Kate. With all her dedication and service to God, all her dedication, prayers, fasting, everything. Where is she now? Can Sister Kate 
say that her life has been good? I can't understand where this is coming from. Listen, all I'm trying to say is that it appears that the children of the world, the unbelievers, are benefiting from this life. Then you and I, the children of God, everything is to our disadvantage. Can't you see? Sister Mary, remind me of the word of the psalmist David, where he said, I nearly lost my faith in the Lord when I see the prosperity of the wicked. Yes. Well, as for me, the word of the Lord is yea and amen. I'm not losing my faith in the Lord. We've been looking for you. We went to your house. Your mother told us you left home with your things and never told anyone where you were going to. And why were you looking for me? I'm sorry, Sister Kate. Um, there was a mistake. something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time now. Tell me what? Please don't be mad at me. Go straight to the point, my friend. The result I gave you for Sister Kate's baby was a mistake. So what are you talking about? I later found out I, I miskept and wrongly used the blood sample of the baby for that of the young lady that was rushed into the hospital that same evening. The result I gave you for that of Sister Kay's baby was the result of the young lady. Why that of the young lady was that of Sister Kate's baby? I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Are you telling me that the baby wasn't HIV positive after all? Yes, Doctor. Oh my God. You know exactly what you've done? I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm very sorry. It was a mistake. Oh my God. You call that high level of carelessness a mistake? You know exactly what you've done to the life of that young girl? I'm so sorry, Doctor. You better start praying to your God that nothing happens to that girl. After the delivery, she came back home, but she wasn't herself. She couldn't eat anything. She couldn't leave the house. She wouldn't even talk to anyone. One morning, she picked her things and left this house without mentioning a word to anyone. She didn't tell anybody her whereabouts. So, you mean you can't lead us to her? How can I lead you to her when I don't even know where she is? And where could she have gone to? Amaromo, Amaromo. I wish I knew. Hey! She suffered. That girl suffered during her pregnancy. The death of her child was a big trauma she couldn't come out from. But I know. I know that one day she will come back to this house where she belongs. I'm a lawyer, not a... Okay, I think uh, we have to be going. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go. I'm 
don't know how you want to go about it. But you must make sure you find that girl and tell her it was a mistake. Okay? Yes, Doctor. All right. And keep praying to your God that she doesn't do anything stupid. Because if I let her hear that something went wrong as a result of this, I'm going to deal with you. I will make sure you suffer for it. Nothing will go wrong, Doctor. I will find her. I must. But how can someone be this callous? How can you be this careless? Huh? I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm very sorry. You have better been sorry for yourself. That my baby never had HIV after all? Yes. It was actually a mix up. The baby died of jaundice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have ruined my entire life. Sorry. My Christian life. My future. You ruined everything. Sorry. Very sorry, Sister Kate. Please stop crying. It's okay. It was my love attendant. Do you know what jeopardy you have exposed me to? Do you know what I have been through? Do you know? I'm really sorry indeed. Very sorry, Sister Kate. Heaven can bear me witness that I searched for you everywhere. In fact, I sent the lab attendant out of the hospital on the grounds that he only has to come back after he has found you and apologized to you. But he never came back. Oh God. Will God ever forgive me? Really? I have done a lot. I have committed so much, so much atrocities. I don't even know if I am safe anymore. I've done a lot. Will you really still forgive me? Really? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Sister Kate. In fact, I believe that God still has you in mind. And that was why he arranged for our meeting tonight. Very sorry indeed. I'm sorry. Take it easy. It's okay. It's okay. Father, please forgive me. I an error. I was misinformed. Oh, good. Holy Mother of God, please. Intercede on my behalf. Father, forgive me, please. Young lady, congratulations. The result is out. It's negative. You are free. Doctor, are you sure there's no mistake anywhere? <laughs> I'm a professional. 
so you don't need to ask such questions. Take it, you're free. You can go. Where is this? Send the next person in. Okay. Achieve. Welcome. Please sit down. Have a seat. Thank you very much, sister. I don't want to take much of your time. I can see that so many people are waiting for you outside there. I came to show appreciation for what God used you to do in my wife's life. Here is a, a check of uh, one million naira. All the thanks would go to Jesus Christ who made all of these things possible. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way. Thank you. My regards to your wife. Thank you. May God be with you. Thank you very much. Uh, send in the next person, please. <laughs> Mama, she's no longer your daughter. She's now God's daughter who is working to serve humanity. Hey. But God did not throw her from heaven. I give birth to her. Oh, <laughs> Momo, okay. I'm your mother. Mama, ah. it's okay. Nobody's dragging, eh? <laughs> Look at him. I'm not to leave for one after one. What? Hey, how are you? Mama, I'm fine, though. Ah. You give God all the glory. You're looking good. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Thank you. All thanks to you. <laughs> Um, I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Mm. Mm. Do you know that Mazi Amichi's son and his bad friend, they are the ones that raped you that night? They were caught sharing money that they stole from people. So she When the police arrested them, they now confessed that they are the ones that raped you that night. May God have mercy on their souls. Amen. Hey! Well, to God be the glory. No! I'm happy to see you. Eh, Mama? Mm. Do you know that these days, if I'm going, if I'm walking, people will be calling me, my sister, my sister, and I'm make Neko. I'm so happy. Ah, that's my new name now. My sister, I say my, hey, Neko, Naga, Neko. <laughs> No. Mama, uh, I have to start going. Uh, just like that. Just like that too. Okay. Okay, okay. Please give me my. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Mama. I can't even stop you, Mama. Nice sister, Kambo. You go, you go. Oh, Mama, Mama, only give me. This love of my child, who will give me? Hey, you want to move? Hmm. Um, Becca. I'm so proud of you. Mama, take care of yourself. Thank you. And go with the blessings of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Father, such is life. I'm telling you. Yes. Such is life. In fact, when I heard the news, I was overwhelmed with joy. I was even telling my colleagues at the Assistant Retreat that the sister that was made special advisor to the governor on religious matters was once in my parish. Mm -hmm. That things were so rough at the point that one was tempted to believe that God hated her. Yeah. But today the truth has been made manifest. They were in the plans of God after all. Well, 
the truth is, there is no loser with God. And you know, just like what you've always said to me, what you always say to me then, to hang in there, and that God had a plan and a purpose for everything. See, today, everything has fallen into place. Yes. Father, I really want to thank you for all your guidance all through my rough times. I mean, without you, I don't think any of this would have been possible. You really are the father that um, I lost. Praise the Lord. Jesus every day 